Welcome everyone to a semi brand new series of Pikmin. Now, oops. Well, now, in the last video, we finished up Pikmin 4. Well, last video if you're watching these in order of when they come out on the channel. But, yeah. Anyways, there I said that I'd be filming Pikmin 1 and then Pikmin 2 and then finish up anything else out I need to. And this pick one, one. So yeah, let's just start. Yeah, start. Oh, challenge okay, done. So yeah, this is my own self playthrough. I got all the pieces in 21 days. I know it's 20, but there's still the last, the final day, which isn't counted. Well, actually, on 20 days. So yeah, 20 days. It's pretty good. But let's see if we can beat that record. And this time, while I'm recording, I have watermelon. So. <laughs> Asteroid. Ship. Equals destruction. There we go. Must have been terrifying. Now we're a meteor. Oh yeah, you can see all the parts just coming on. That's neat. Just an old almost one probably one of the most iconic musics in this game. <laughs> Yeah, there's one that I just, I never knew where it came from, but I knew it. Right. Like, there's a problem with this game, and that's going to so much reading. Yeah. Anyways, my name is Captain Omar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. It must have, oh, I thought it was an asteroid. I must have blacked out. And I woke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. Of course, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no. But enough to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Oh, here we go. Oh, I never knew that it was this bad. Oh my god. That was a lot worse than I originally thought it was. I can see the outline. Hmm, what could these outlines be? I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Oh, check that. I was like, where's the onion? I just couldn't find it. Yeah. There's the red onion. The thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun I had barely begun my search when it reared up as <laughs> if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. It's gonna be so difficult getting used to the controls in this game. Oh yeah, and the long time it takes for picking to come out of the ground. Just because they're growing mostly. Which makes sense. But... And to see that the onion drops took root in the soil and is now produced in an adorable little sprout. This spot emits a strange light, and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calm to, to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. And press A? What? Go on, Mary. When I plucked the spout, it turned out to be a living creature. Not, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. 
It shaped. It shaped. <laughs> what? It shaped. Similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pick Man. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet fighting to survive. And yet I am intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A. And I will call it to my side of B. Hmm. Perhaps it will react to pressing X or moving R while holding L as well. What does that mean? What? Wait a minute. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Yeah, up, down, zoom, snap, camera, find all my left foot. Okay, good to know. So basically, mouse controls. One. Oh no, it's just holding L and moving R. Okay. I was like, what is that? I thought it was like standing in place and then you're able to aim better. But now it's still somewhat bad. But, anyways. <laughs> what are we doing? What does this pickle think of me? I must observe its reactions. The more things I try, the more reactions I can catalog. I shall attempt to grab it and throw it with A and call it to my side of B. Perhaps it will react to me pressing X or moving R while or or moving. Up. <laughs> Nothing up there. Whoops. Oh, okay, I get it. I was supposed to go get a pellet. <laughs> Hit it. Yes. We got it. Excuse me, I press B. It's dodging. The onion has shown has sown more seeds. The small red pellet Pikmin harvested after cutting down flour appears to be some type of food that that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be some sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form. I can never get it. There we go. Here? No, I can't get up there. That's not a stairway. Sometimes Pikmin are weird. <laughs> get, those, get, those, get those guys. Thanks. I'm good, they both carry it. Yeah, every game before Pikmin 4, if you just leave a bunch of Pikmin around something, then they actually la all latch onto it, or as many that can want to. And it this is very useful. This isn't lag in the game, it's just that the game is technically old in a way, even though this is the updated version, and it's gonna be a little slower than most. Still good that though. Yeah, okay. I mean, pushing all on that one side doesn't seem too smart, but okay. Can you finish? Thank you. The Pikmin are as curious as children. 
They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make sure you t if I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall su I'll sum up all I've. This is just control. I'm trying to skip anything that I don't really need to read because there's so much of it. It's gonna make these days so long. That's our engine. Amazing, there's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By, by stroke, stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But, how will I get it back to the dolphin? Thank you. Need one on that. One up there. One on that. And the rest of them. There we go. And they'll get there eventually. <laughs> okay. Pikmin seeds out at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My, my, my wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks, but holding A, that's what I've been doing. I've noticed that when I want to add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. I'll distinguish between which ones aren't in my group and which ones are. That doesn't really help me though, because when I, in the other games, when I want to do that, I just whistle everything around me and I get them all, so. <laughs> and I probably notice if they stop, stop falling. Yeah, anyways. I'll just run around a little bit, seeing if there's anything else, but I don't think there is, except for this, but we can't get over there yet, unfortunately. Well, we need higher stuff, to, higher stuff for over there, anyways. Yeah, and these videos are going to be a lot shorter, and this one is already at about the time that I predicted for these, which is great, because I, did, I was scared that this video would be a little too short, but it's about the same, so that's nice. Because these are 15 minute days of driving. Right. Hold on. Let me just confirm. First go to Google. How long is nope is a day in Pikmin? One. Um, Pikmin. One. Pikmin 68Z. With a what? I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken. Ooh. I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again l l lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. 
page out. Right. The European app render its 58 bit game player speed will be slower, see frame rate. Oh. Frames. Frame rate? Wow, that's weird. So, I'm guessing this is 60 frames per second. I mean, that's. Hold on, see frame rate. Um, here it is. Pikmin game Wow, they run it with the they run at 30 frames per second? What do what? Pal I'm just gonna assume it's 60. <laughs> I don't understand this at all. So yeah. A day in this game is 16 minutes and 12 seconds, which is decent, and we've already passed that after I did all that, so, <laughs> anyways, the dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokkaido. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I pre prepare, repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I'll name it the Forest of Hope. I'll explore it tomorrow. Oh, interesting. I never knew that. Okay. So, the Red Pikmin population went up a little bit? No, nobody died. If someone died, I'd be so confused. And a little angry. Yeah, that's technically one day, and it's about the length it was supposed to be. So, if you guys want to see the next video of this playthrough that is not a tutorial, make sure you hit the like button, say so I know you like this tutorial, <laughs> uh, hit the subscribe button just to support me, because it, it's nice to get another subscriber every now and then. And hit the notification bell if you want to see the Forest of Hope. So I'll see you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.